All right, we are. Luna! Oh. I was trying to do something fancy and it didn't work. me just fucking around Okay, what am I doing? What are we doing? What's going on? Streaming, playing tracks, streaming tracks. <sighs> Perks. Yeah. I can do this. All right, I need to turn you up and my music down. Okay, I think we good. Oh, wait, I have to get... I don't know. I want me to go. Go. 
uh, 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 oh, my truck is on fire. Switzerland. Wait. No, oh, thank you. It's like, oh, my truck is on fire. This is fine. Um, and the new UI is not that different, but just enough to be quiet. Convoy. Alright, convoy is uh you chuk chick meja. Oh, that reminds me. In the sound file that you sent me for that. Details. It gave me. It actually says in the details the place name in Cyrillic. Because we were like, where right. is that? All right. I was just glancing. I was trying to organize my files, and I was like, oh, it's there. And do we know where there is? Uh, it, Turkey. Uh, it's. Something. Yep. Yeah. Oh, it's in Istanbul. There. Here it is on anglicized script. So there we go. All this time, and it was like right there in the actual file that you sent me. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, the game is too loud too. Well, I guess we're going to have to go visit it. I guess so. Apparently my truck is a little bit knocked out. I'm not sure how I feel about the new UI, actually. It's easy to read, but I feel a little bit like old man shaking fist at cloud kind of thing. Like, it's a change. I was just seeing if they had anything particularly gay for uh, paint jobs. Oh god. Let's just stick with the fire. Okay. So we did some trucks on anniversary stream. With Flint and Molly and Stone and Fine Human, and it was a complete fucking chaos. It was amazing. Alright, well, I guess we're going to Innsbruck, so I'll see you there. Um. Oh. Where's that? <laughs> Where, what's that person? Where you are. Name was. The, the person with the name? Yeah, that one person that is in your chat. I think they were in Innsbruck. Was it? No, I, it was, it wasn't Innsbruck. It was somewhere else, wasn't it? I haven't seen them in ages. Yeah, but let's keep cutting out. Um, 
am. I have fatigue off. tell if this is all too loud or not. I have to rely on someone telling me. Oh, the good old steer. Oh, look, they even added it. Did you write a letter to them? The what? What? What did I do? As a description, oh, wow. told you what the settings are. Steering non-linearity. Adjust the linearity between input and vehicle steering. Oh, wow. Value higher means the steering will be less responsive. Oh. The wheel is at the center and will increase the sensitivity as the wheel is turned towards the maximum lock. This can be helpful to smooth out steering inputs when driving straight. Hi, Toss. Uh, no. no. I'm gonna. Sorry, I'm gonna have to switch my heads, my earbuds over because for some reason the receiver is not connecting properly and it keeps on cutting out. So. Okay, I can turn the wheel, but it won't respond to my... <laughs> Please hold chat, we're on tech support. <laughs> Hi Ravi. <laughs> How can I be a silly goose for you today? Okay, how are we how are we doing on audio balance? Friends in chat. Is that you, Rosie or Ray? Croissant is as on hold. I like it. Oh, this is what's going. Oh, wait, what? How are you getting on with your hiccups? Because mine is slowly getting there. Okay. What the heck? Oh, I thought I could. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Okay. Did someone type something in chat just to make sure my overlay is working? Is everyone? Yes. Everyone is having tech issues today. I was running late. I got absorbed doing merch design for Flint. Um, and my my Bluetooth receiver is just like, yeah. Are the Bluetooth receiver there? Yeah, but it's, no, that's. Carter is having controller issues. Really? I think I've sorted out. Yes. 
I have coffee, I have water. I've not eaten, but I'm not hungry. All right, I think we're good. We good? Yeah, we good. All right, here we go. I'm not used to having, I, I'm not used to being back into like 16 by 9 for this game. Everything feels really weird. Like, just, whoa, fuck me. So much less, uh, <laughs> so much less window to look through. I haven't been here before. How have I got a teleport point for this town? You've been to Innsbruck. Well, I thought so, but I don't have any of these roads discovered. I think we haven't been to this part of Innsbruck. Okay. realize my truck is decorated with flames but I have a an icicle a snowflake <laughs> in my dash this feel oh god Woo this feels very different It's quite nice playing this on a higher resolution, though. My new monitor, you know? Got a fancy new monitor, eh? Alright, we have arrived. I have so many more pixels. I'm curious, actually, if I'm still gonna- if I'm gonna have the frame rate pitching that I was in American. Well, that's the answer there. It just dropped to one. Okay. It's definitely something weird going on. I mean, one frames one frame is enough. Yeah, I don't know why you need more than one frame. So, your anniversary stream, I've said, you know, the the the, the newest person picks the job. Um, which meant Molly got to pick the job because Molly had only just got out of tutorial early and had one stream. Um, the first cargo she picked was a triple trailer. And the first job she picked was in Colorado. And it was... It was something else. Like four or five people trying to navigate triple trailers going through Colorado. Sounds like a good time. It was it was a very sweety start to the stream. Really? You're not gonna give me that? I'm so close. Why are you being like that? That's so far away. Apparently. thing is now I have to like turn my camera to see where I'm going
see if there's like a hotkey for like quickly looking out the left window. Ah uh, yes, the classic quick left window out looking. Yeah. Hotkey. Like, you know, like when you peek in a, a first person shooter, like that kind of thing. Dear SCS. Wait, there is something. Lean out camera. Surely that's not it. This is the lean out camera. Yeah, no, that's not what I want. <laughs> Wait, steering based camera rotation, blinker based camera rotation. Ooh, what does that do? Oh, I, I don't it, know. Does it, it describe it in the right No, time? no. You have to click on the. I am. It's not doing anything. Here, yes, yes. Great start, but if you could, uh... yeah, look at that. Some petrol. Oh, you find your what? Looking lean out. Oh, it's fine. I don't need to look. It's fine. I mean, I could use the mouse. I'm just lazy. Or I could just not look, and everyone else is at it's their fault anyway. Yeah, since when have you been worried about looking out the window? I mean... Who are you and what did you do with that? <laughs> I have... I have just... I have less real estate on my screen. I guess I just have to look, like, before I get to a junction or some bullshit. I really feel like the game is way too loud for stream. I forgot how to put the first time I forgot how to put petrol in my truck. Alright. I'm all repaired and full of gas. You're full of gas, huh? I'm so full of gas. I'll just make sure that you have mute before. <sighs> Pretty sure it doesn't pick up on camera, on web on, on mic. Oh, there is. There's just trash on the side of the road. Right. Yeah, there's always been trash on the side of the road. It's not you. And American trucks, then, too, there's usually trash on the side of the road. Well, that's because it's the US. The yeah. Country. That's true. But this is Austria. You were slaves.
All right. I feel like truck volume is at a slightly better level for me, but it might still be too loud for stream. Sounds good on stream? Okay, I'll take it. Oh yeah, lights. How do we... Wait. Ah. Okay, there we go. I got the high beams on. Took a lot of maps and tooting, but I got it. Yeah, this is just a nice truck. The Volvo is just a nice truck. need a right hand mirror. Uh, I don't know my speed in kilometers anymore. Is it 115 fast or not? Uh, I think that's kind of like 65-ish? 70 maybe? That's like 100 kilometers an hour is pretty standard for like motorways in New Zealand. So guessing around 60 miles. But I don't, I don't know. Ask Alexa. That's our fallback for trucks. No. No? No, we'll figure it out. I mean... If I go to Europe, I can't just ask that person when I'm on the <laughs> drive on the that, that, That's true. <laughs> figure it out as I go along. Is this too fast? <laughs> Buckman's like, uh, what is up with chat? Say Saturday, Thursday night. I was a bit tired. Yeah. Uh, as one gets in the evening. Yes. And I uh, went to bed uh, around uh, 9, 10, 10, probably closer to 10. Pretty, yeah. I was, I was sleeping pretty, pretty good. Mm -hmm. And I uh, heard a noise. I was like, interesting. Someone, someone in the house. Here, they're here. Uh -huh. uh, and then I heard another noise, and I was like, "All right, well now I gotta go see what's going on." And it was in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. So I go in the kitchen, flip on the lights. Nothing. I don't. I don't see anything. But I knew it was coming from the kitchen because it sounded like someone rattled around. Oh god. And I was like, "Oh, it's, it's Octavius like, in here, getting into something he shouldn't." Because mm -hmm. he. Yeah. Sink, whatnot. Mm -hmm. And there's a little frickin' mouse on the counter. Uh -huh. the way. And he woke me up. A stupid little mouse woke me up at 11 30. In a good <laughs> sleep. And then I had to stay up for like, you know, another hour trying to figure out where he went, how he got in, had to clean up stuff. How did a so mouse next... wake you up? They're literally like, you was, know, as quiet as a mouse. Was, like, Oh, right. Trying to get into like bowls and shit. Yeah. So the next day, I went to the store and I bought the little mouse poison things and put those things. Yeah. Normally I try and catch them, but the kitchen's kind of a little bit bigger and it's open, so I don't have a good way. Like, yeah. Them. Like all the other mice that I usually can catch them, I just take them. Really? Yes. Did, you, did you figure out where he came in from? I have not figured that out yet, but I did see that this morning that he had uh, had uh, nibbled on a 
number of the different little poisons, so uh, okay. I'm just gonna die somewhere, probably in the house and sneak it up and then track all the ants in the house, so. Oh yeah, no, I love that. And see if you if you can find out where it's coming in, uh, steel wool is really good to use to fill in holes because they can't eat it. Mm, I, see. I had to use that in London because I too had a mousy guest who was getting into my cookies and it would like climb on my computer desk and just sit there staring at me while I was in bed eating my cookies. <laughs> I'd like open my eye to see what the noise was and I'd just be like, "Yeah, I'm eating a cookie. What about it?" Fuck you! Those are my cookies! Yeah, so. so, we'll see how that plays itself out. It's just like, I should go get a cat. I have to deal with a cat. Yeah. The problem with cats... Is it's just one. Oop. Like... Octavius will eat it. Yeah, probably. Daisy loves eating cat shit. So yeah, <laughs> but yeah, that's 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 the one thing. Like dog poop, it's like you know, especially if you've got a large dog, it's easy enough to clean up. But like litter boxes, no, I no, thank you. Somewhere behind the oven there. Yeah. Yeah, you definitely want to get that figured out before winter. Some nesting your walls and fuck up all your electricals and shit. I wonder if you could use a, a blue light to kind of help figure out where it is, because they're nasty little fuckers that just wee everywhere. I don't, I don't know if that's a thing, but you could try getting some luminol and a blue light and see if you can find tracks that way. I don't know if that's a valid way of tracking mice, but... Then you could pretend you're a crime scene investigator too. <laughs> what else has been going on? to come out for it. Did you 
figure this out yet? I mean, I'm still kind of behind you. Thought I'd let you do the braining. <laughs> been missing you for the last like, four weeks. Okay. I'll come sit there. Okay. Alright. We're down here. Alright. I don't know which one of these is. Oh, probably the one over there that says like drops and buses. <laughs> um, the sign says to the right. The right hand lane. Like the very right. Of solid things. Yeah, I'm good too. Well, that's good. Hey. Yes, what other solid things? This fucking. these cars in front of me. Thank you. Oh, hey, that worked. I did. No response. Nothing. Nothing. I'm gonna send another one. I'm gonna find someone else to send it to. But I did. I wrote up a really good, like, professional kind of introduction, talking about who I am and why I love their product and how I think I can add value to promoting their product in the streamer slash creator space. It was a, it was a pretty, I, I wrote a pretty good write up and then I did the old, uh, give it the old chat GPT treatment and it just like refined it perfectly. Yes, I did the thing. My brakes are not very breaky in this game. Well, I sent it. The first thing I sent was to their Instagram DMs on Instagram because that was like the only social media platform that they're active on, except for Facebook. And I'm not getting on Facebook, so. <laughs> I figured a social media platform would be, you know, I can't imagine they get too many people going, can I have a free Benny Fiber? You know, like a computer company would get people asking for free PCs. But yeah, there's not really a company that has uh, like influencer relations as such. Also launched a vintage story server. Ooh. Yeah. Got your own vintage story server, huh? I do. For for mods for mods and uh, people who support me on Fourth Wall, which is like Patreon but better. 
So we launched that on the 24 hour stream. Fancy, fancy. Pretty fancy. Put out some new merch on the store. Okay, okay. So it's looking pretty good right now. Speaking of toast, what the fuck was that thing that I saw at Drake's post? Was that a, a temporal anomaly thing? I didn't like the look of that. My my vintage story server is like my little pony mode. It's still a survival challenge, but you don't have to deal with things trying to eat your face all the time. There was a picture that Drax posted in his Discord toast um, that looked like a giant leggy monster thing. I think what we've learned today is we should not follow me. It's Dave? Okay. Um, don't follow you? Yeah, I seem to not be able to pick the right place to go. I... I'm right there with you. Yeah, that was not the great. I took that way. If you turn stop, you gotta go left. Well. Well, you said don't follow you. That was the way that I went, though. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I. I... It's I fine. Can't get through that way. I don't know. Okay, that was just a little, little detour. That wasn't so bad. chose to play your trumps eh? oh and also we we had a poll for two weeks a pool. A, a pool? A, a swimming pool? pool. Okay. Uh, and then a spring a leak. <laughs> Did it, you fix it? Uh, no. It, it wasn't. It was something that could be fixed, but wasn't worth risking a, a bill for another thousand plus gallons of water for her. Mm. Um, you can just make Flint stick his finger in it and just... <laughs> <laughs> no, unfortunately, I don't think that would have worked. It was it was one that we picked up um, off one one we got for me because she knows that I've been wanting a pool for ages. Um, it was on sale for like thirty something dollars for including shipping, and it was a ten foot wide pool. It was one of those ones that's got like an inflatable ring around the top, like a giant IKEA bag basically, um, with an inflatable ring. And it was fine, but uh, Memorial Weekend, it was really fucking hot and 
I think it just melted the glue because it it leaked at a seam, but the fabric had all delaminated as well. So it's like I could try and patch it, but if the fabric's delaminating, then there's really not much point. <laughs> it's just going to keep on pulling at all of the seams. Um, so we I emptied it out completely and we have a, a different one now waiting to set up but I've got to go out and level the ground some more but this time we've got one that's from a like a recognizable brand and it comes with a warranty so but my weed eater and my lawnmower both died on the same day and I need to do lawns before we can install a new pool. So I have a busy weekend ahead of me. Sounds like it. Yeah. But yeah, the the blade on my lawnmower um I accidentally ran over um I thought I'd hit a stone. Um, and I could feel that the blade was off balance, but I wasn't sure. And then I went back and hit lock and it was like one of those, I call them cat's eyes, like the little reflective bits that they put in the middle of the road so you can see the road markings. Um, and it had come off the road and sort of fallen into the yard, but it was upside down, so it was flat. Um, and it managed to bend the blade of the lawnmower like downwards 90 degrees. So it's not even like I can't bend it back into shape. Like that's. So you just need a new blade. I need a new blade, yeah. Okay. So it's not like you're. <sighs> no. Uh, but the. Not like your part that it spins around. Got... No, but the 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 part that the uh, the motor shaft on the weed eater sheared off. Mm. Um, I was trimming some long grass and. As, yeah, and all of a sudden the head, not the head, but like the the center part that the string is on, yeah, and the the thing that it, that mounts to just went flying off, and it was smoking. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently, over time, at some point the the little gate cage that goes around it to stop grass getting coiled up broke and it's just been slowly accumulating grass and shit over time and got really fucking hot and uh, melted <laughs> and then just broke off yeah so that that's fun well time to get out the scissors yeah <laughs> all right i've got a, i've got an old weed eater so i'm trying to decide if i want to try and fix because it. it was like it was a refurbished uh, weed eater anyway or if I should just try and find like a a cheaper lighter unit on Amazon somewhere but it's like in the same week every all of these things went and I was just like come on give me a break Jackie. Oh hey, Litbot didn't hit up Chucky, or Litbot's asleep. I think Litbot. I think Litbot's asleep. Yeah. yeah.
And it's kind of frustrating that all the, uh, the lawn stuff all decided to shit itself the week before it got really fucking hot and started raining lots. So it's like a jungle out there. But yeah, uh, it's a memorial weekend. I think it got up to, well, the heat index was over 100. It's like 100, 102 on Saturday or Sunday. And it's not even hot weather yet. Oh god. What's going on here? Okay, so if I'm not going to follow you, which lane do I get in? Uh, I forgot. Cool. So far it's working out, so maybe you should follow me on this one. I just take the bonus lane in the middle, the stripey one. I'll do this one. has got significantly more um oh god what the fuck uh got got more get up and go but a, a lot less oh god stop I don't know what the hold up is here. Uh, could be me. Could be me, apparently. I thought I pulled off to the side, but uh, it seems that maybe I didn't move over enough, so I'm just going to get some new here. Apparently, everyone else is listening for no particular reason. Here we go. Now the traffic starts moving. I could just take a shortcut, but I'm glad I didn't try, because there is one. This truck really does feel so much different than in the other one. Other.
The place? Yeah, off the park. Mm. I think it's not Neverland. This game always makes me so sweaty, even if it's not stressful. Stopping on a red light. Oh dear. Oh, now truck is running a red light. What? <laughs> Pockets. Oh, look. Wait, really? My Lex title change isn't until level 100. Wow, that sucks. And then a it... divine champion. Yeah. Like, well, that's a goal, I guess. I don't think there's any upgrades for my truck. Well, that was one down. Level 56. Oh, mine too. Divine champion. All right, well, we got to work. So we got some work to do, I guess. We're going to have to play this every single day. <sighs> No. Become divine champions. I mean, I'm already a divine champion. I I don't feel like
I, I need validation for that. All right, here we go. Let's go. Can we get out this exit? No. Don't go this way. Okay. Where are we going? Uh, do we have non-collision on? Okay, good. Because I was going to run right into you. Uh, we're going down the road. A bit. A bit. A piece. It's very entertaining to drive at someone in a parking lot when they don't know that the clipping is disabled. Mm. Yeah, I could imagine. Not that I would do. No. I have this new controller I ought to try at some point. Not from doing a teardrop. It says fucking swanky ass controller. It's supposed to be a PlayStation controller, but apparently it's PC compatible too. Oh, uh, it's it's supposed to be super super duper amazing stuff. All right, well, we should try the super duper amazing stuff. I should, but it's also a lot of work to switch switch over and then try and like remap buttons onto a controller because the only time I ever think about doing it is when I'm playing this, which is only when I'm live. Hi, Brickly! I like the little Pusheen video you played. That was cute. Just in time for ads? Yeah, you are. That does mean that it's time for an ad break. Time for a break. I think. I'm not seeing them yet. The first one is always a bit off, timing wise. But the ads are on right now? This is the starting soon for me. No, the first ad break always takes a few extra seconds to start. For some reason. Okay, there we go. And now ads. Okay. I'm going to stand up and to a stretch. You should too. I'll be right back.
Okay. Oh, that's better. Yeah, the first... The first ad break never plays when it's supposed to. It's always off by a few minutes because they never start when they're supposed to. After the first ad break, then it's usually... The timers and everything usually pretty good. <sighs> Ugh, it's so hot. Flammable gas. Liquid. Ooh. Did not expect you to be stopped there. Sorry. That's why you stopped, so you could Good do job. the game. <laughs> okay, valid. Oh no, oh. You fell off the edge. You didn't survive that one. You don't have to go across your whole screen? No. I... I wasn't sure. I still haven't decided what I want to do. I was using it for giveaways on, um... Anniversary stream. So I wanted something that was like visual and easy. But I had so much stuff going on, I, th I thought I'd just like limit it to a small section. I, th I think I was also worried that having a full screen would be distracting. But I didn't factor in the fact that when you have a narrow area, it turns into fucking like really fast ricochet. So I might just open it up. It's pretty cute though. Makes yeah, me happy. Streams that have the, they go across the whole yeah, Mel has whole it. Hmm. Oh. Okay. It's a Mel stream. It's been a long time, I think, since they did. But yeah, I found it just because I was, said I was trying to find like a easy visual thing that would be kind of fun for giveaways rather than just, you know, type enter in chat. So you can like queue up multiple people and then do it and everyone just drops all at once and then it's complete chaos there because everyone's like bouncing off everyone else. Drive it, yeah, we're, we're in Europe today. Hi, Drax. We, where are we? Somewhere in Eastern Europe. Yeah, that's, that's right. You've heard of that place? Nah, doubt it. I just... Yeah, what would you know about Europe? <laughs> Whatever. Oh god. I forgot how nice this truck was. Like, I like my Western Star, an American truck sim, but the Volvo... It's just... It's just really pretty. And also... It's on fire. Which is 
amazing. I mean, it's not actually on fire, but I have a flaming paint job, which helps. It's a made-up place like Narnia. It's where all the fancy people live, right? That's what I understand. Yeah. The rich fancy people. Oh, I'm going to Europe for the summer. Oh, yeah, exactly. Off, off to to do the big overseas experience or the big OE as we like to call it in New Zealand <laughs> not really everyone calls it you know, like if you leave high school or university and you do your big OE and everyone's like what the fuck is that and it's literally just overseas experience but it sounds so I didn't realize how stupid it sounded until a long time so, afterwards until I was just like OE what the fuck is that Fucking New Zealand English. Oh, there you go. That's some that's some clever thinking, Brickley. Getting ahead of the game. Um, so Drex, I I'm glad that you have a new friend called Dave on the server. Um, and I'm not normally one to like base judgments on uh, appearances. But uh, hell no fucking no. I'm I'm not. He doesn't he doesn't give me that warm welcoming vibe. I'm not I'm not digging Dave. They are tall. Yes, there is a whole lot of leg. Entirely too much leg. It is very, um, very War of the Worlds looking. That's what I thought it was at first. I was like, what is this? And then I saw the, like, the distortion in the screenshot and I was like, oh, it's a fucking temporal storm. Righto. You hit in a hole? Smart. <laughs> of course you did. Oh, I forgot about that prickly. I think you mentioned that it was happening. It's for the content though, Drax, right? As streamers, we do all the things for the content. They look cool or something. Let me know when it works. Hey, Transient. Yeah. I forgot that I had a little... Cool, cool, thank, thanks. I have, why have I got Santa on my dash? so <laughs> I miss my ultra wide <laughs> just for this game though I don't miss it for any other games but I miss it for this there's a pre-exit exit that you have to take oh heads up okay. like, like we're in Germany Exit to oh exit. yeah 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 sorry they but they run. they they don't tell you it's just like oh by the way right. here's this big metal barrier that you're gonna drive into or well, ideally should i guess avoid truck is so fancy it has a usb port on the dash and it really bothers me that there's nothing to like 
plug into it? Oh, okay, here we go. The pre-exit exit. Like, there should be something cute that you can plug in. Hopefully it'll be like having your partner to to have your back should help. I think. <sighs> well, that sounds like a him problem, not a you problem. Uh what? Oh, did I just fuck up? Oh no, I'm good. Oh, that's good. So there's enough people to diffuse and not have focus be on you. That's that's real good. I'm I'm trying to decide Seven. <laughs> oh, and it's it's a bit I don't know, it might seem silly. If I should let my dad know that I'm gonna be up in Ohio. Because he's in Toronto. Um so it's not it's not like super close, but we haven't seen each other in like a decade. He's really lovely. I just worry that if I... He's always been really conscious of like... Leaving... Letting me have the decision and the control and, and the friend, and the relationship that we have. Um, but I'm, I'm worried if I like, hey, I'm gonna be here and then he'll like, come on down and then I'll just get like, overwhelmed. Because one of the one of the motivations for going up to to do house sitting in Ohio is to give me a break oh going downtown to walk around oh that sounds fun hey Abe I like I'm kind of looking forward to two weeks like without you know, like I can just by myself. Like maybe a couple of people to pop in and say hello, but it's surprising how many people I know up in that area. It is a good, yeah. I mean, I know it's still gonna be hot and you no, know, like I'm still gonna be working. So I'll be able to stream from Dean's computer. But yeah, it's it's been a long time since I've been more than a couple of hours away from home. And I need it. Is he wanting to go to the place where the dogs do the running outside? No, we were in Edith yesterday. You got yourself a solid butt right there, puppy dog. Brother's adamant about keeping your dad from doing too many things.
Oh yeah, yeah it is. I was about to put like, just put my foot down and then I was like, oh. Maybe, ooh. Maybe. Maybe not. Coming through. Woman with bad gas. Happen when it happens. Hmm. We'll see. See how that goes. A lot of people who are are adamant that things are gonna go a certain way and then when the vacation happens everything all the plans go tits up. Sorry, because I don't know if I should let my dad know that I'm going to be up there or not, because I don't want him to feel like I'm dropping a hint that he should drive down from Canada to see me, because that's a long drive. I mean, it's only a few hours, I guess, but still. But there's also a part of me that would be like kind of hopeful that maybe like my siblings would want to come and visit, but I can't go see them because I can't cross the border. So it's like, oh. Well, you can cross the border one way. No, not really. <laughs> you need a, you, know, you still need a passport to get out of the country, don't you? Get out of the country? Well, to get into Canada. Like a driver's license or something? I have no idea. Oh, wow. I don't drive. My only form of ID is expired. Mm. So, well, yeah. You can definitely get out of the country. Yeah, <laughs> I can get out real easy. That's, that's why I can't just, like, fly up to Ohio or catch the bus. I'd probably be okay on the train, actually, but it's just not worth the, the risk. Well, so, um, Sadie and, and Sal were due some time off, and Sal wanted to visit her parents in Georgia, which is not too far away from me. So they're gonna, they're basically gonna come and grab me and then go see their parents. We're gonna go stay with their parents for a couple of days, and then they're gonna drive back up. Because that's how they would visit anyway. Um, and the car of Sadie for like ten hours. Yeah, I was really surprised it wasn't going to be. A, I thought it was going to be a lot longer trip, to be honest. But it's going to be broken up with a, with a stop in Georgia, and then maybe another one on the way. Um, and then on the way back, um, Jesse's going to drive me back because. She's got some stuff to do in Sarasota hmm. that she needs to drop off. So she's going to drop me off and then she's got to, like, on her trip back, she's going to swing by her family in Tennessee. So it's all kind of working out. It's going to be quite the road trip. Sounds like it. Yeah, so I'll be staying two weeks, well, probably closer to three weeks with, with Dean and Jesse two weeks of that they'll be away and then like the the first part of the trip I'll be with Sadie and them but then I was like there's so many people up in Ohio or in Michigan and stuff so I'm like trying to like hey you guys j j like Tom because Tom's in Michigan it's like maybe Tom and and he said Tom and his wife might want to come and say hello and Rayum's there and Buckler's in Ohio 
and there's some other people that are just like the next state over that you know maybe if they have time in their schedule they could drive up and say hello though i'm aware that it's a big ask because it's it's a lot of driving that was directed at you by the way carter oh i'm not just one state over i'm like <laughs> five five scrillion yeah no i'm aware that it's a really long way so thanks i expect nothing um but yeah, there's a couple of people I know up that way, so... But it's gonna be... I don't know, I feel weird, because like I said, I don't drive, so <laughs> I'll be like, Hey, I'm gonna be here, so... Unofficial Delcon. I'll be here between this time and this time if you want to hang out. Delcon, Ohio. Yeah, doing a tour. That was one woman tour of Ohio. International tour of Ohio. And by two are you mean? Just in one place? Because... Two. Two. No, okay. Yeah. Sadie's and Dean's. Grand tour. The grand tour of Ohio. Well, the train runs right by my house, so if you just want to, you know, hop on the train in Ohio, yeah, that's fine. Well, I still have to take care of Kit and Dio. Well, I mean, after, you know. Huh? I don't know what the rules are with ID and train tickets, that's all. Oh, well, I mean, you could hop on any train, just, you know, like a freight train and just, you know. I could. Box car and just, you know, rail surf or whatever they call it. Yeah, like if I just like get a, a big red hanky and tie all my belongings into a hanky and stick it on the end of a stick and toss it over my shoulder. Exactly. Yeah. But yeah, they assured me that I'll still be able to I'll be able to use Dean's computer, so I'll still be able to stream. And I use OBS in portable mode already. Um, so I can basically just co copy the entire thing onto a thumb drive. Are you and uh, that's it. Point redemption to uh, pick any game? No. Okay. Well, you want me to play some of the random console no, games that Dean's got? To play them, but. He has the redemption that you can does three numbers and then he'll just tell you about it so and i could just make shit up yeah yeah this here is an antique ds title i have the only one in the world it has words on the cover and silly music that's all i got You can make up a story about how he got it. And yeah. Where he got it. Backpacking in Nepal. Yeah. Actually, that could be quite fun. Because I'm not going to have, like, Jesse's like, you could just bring your green screen. I'm like, nah, it's too much hassle. So I will have the, the Dean backdrop with all the games and the flags and characters and stuff. It's going to be pretty fucking weird. But I did say, like, it's really important to me that I do keep streaming because, well, you know, it's it's bad for the numbers and therefore my income if I stop. Um, but also, you know, my brain. I need a, I need a routine. You could stream your road trip too. I could. Um, I don't know. I could ask Flint because we've got we do have a phone that has like unlimited data. Specifically, full trips. Like two hours of the trip, and you're going through like some interesting places. Well, I don't. I'm on track phone, so all the data is what I pay for. I was saying we've got a phone with unlimited data, but 
everything I have is prepaid. But I definitely plan on doing lots of like pictures and stuff. I'm really nervous about meeting them as well. It's silly. Because it's been like like five years now. So it's probably fine. Man, I forgot how pretty it was here. Whoever here is. But like, at this game. The pretty fields and the hay. The hot air balloons. Sunflowers. So the week before they go away and the week after they go away, the streams might be sporadic, but I plan on doing my usual schedule for the, the two weeks on. But it, like I said, I haven't been away in a really long time gonna be I don't know what I'm gonna do with myself especially being alone in the evenings you have kitten deer I will have kitten deer yeah I'll make sure I've got some yarn as well uh, so Sal's mum is like big into crochet and apparently it's prepared to meet me <laughs> um so i should uh apparently there's a good chance that i'm gonna end up leaving their cell's parents place with a bag of yarn library and drink tea yeah i'll probably like I'll, I'll have my phone with books and yarn, but I think it, like I said, I haven't been like alone alone in such a long time. I don't looking. Yeah. Like before I came to the States, I lived by myself for quite a while. And it was an adjustment. Moving, going from living by myself to moving into a house that was like full of people and now it's just like me and Flint and Bonus Mum but it's so rare that I'm like truly by myself. I think it's going to be like a really good sort of mental recharge. But Dean said there's a bunch of stuff within walking distance. Hopefully it's less hot, even like a little bit less hot than it is here. Maybe I can actually get out and do some walking. <laughs> I mean, in the July in the Midwest. Yeah. yeah, no, I know. Last time I visited Ohio, it was August. And it was fucking sweaty as fuck. But... but I might still have a better chance of getting out and about and doing stuff when I'm when I'm when I have a complete agency and decide for myself what I want to do. A bit of freedom. I don't think Flint's very excited about me going. <laughs> Wow, thanks for forcing me through the scales. Fucking jerks. Why, why does your breath weigh two tons more than mine? Why are we hearing hey, the same thing? Hey, look, I haven't pooped today, okay? I don't know. Maybe I'm carrying some extra car, car stuff. 
car scrapings. But we, yeah, we have the same model, same model truck, don't we? Maybe I have. Yeah, yeah, that's it. It's it's liquid. It's just water weight. Yeah, it's as I said, it's also the first time that Flint and I have been apart in years as well, so I think that's going to be a bit of a shock for him. Yeah, he'll be fine. Hey, well, he's still got his mum here, so. I used to go off on road trips with his mum all the time, and he'd just be left to his own devices down here, and he was fine. Because now he has to look after Daisy as well, but. Kind of looking forward to a break from that too. Let's say Romania. Are we in Romania now? Somewhere. Read That's for sure. Yes, Romania. The sign says Romania. It is. Yeah, so la like, even like the last few times that I've had a trip, except for like one like casual road trip with Flynn's mom, it's always been to visit his family. Um, so I've not really had, like in the entire time that I've lived here, except for when Punky visited and stayed for a week and then when Sadie and Em visited for that day. I've not really had any of my own like social interactions like that are you know for people who want to be spend time with me rather than people who are like required to by marriage. Because I don't have any I don't have any friends here. So it's, I think it's going to be really good for me. Good for you. Yeah, that's good. You work hard. I think that's totally fair that you get a, a day here and there to, you know, breathe. <laughs> Both days. I was just like, what am I going to do? I'm going to be like, well, I'm going to. I'll be able to stretch out and then I'm like not if I know what kitten Dio like I'm probably not gonna be able to stretch out I'm gonna end it with two dogs laying all over me <laughs> and they may be corgis but I have no doubt that those little fuckers are heavy once they relax because dogs be like that especially because apparently Dio is a big baby Oh. Ow. I mean, that's a good thing. Oh, did I tell you how Daisy's managed to, like, finagle two Amazon drivers into giving her treats? She's... It, like, I started... I think it, I think, I'm not sure how long she's been keeping it from me, but it started around the time that it, or just after her legs started giving out on her. I think drivers felt sorry for her. And w I was waiting for a package, so I was watching the security camera because I saw that we had a package coming. And then I saw, usually Daisy does, you know, the big box. And 
instead I saw her looking out the door and wagging her tail and I was like what is going on so I went out and there was a driver who was just like gushing over her like oh my god you're so cute and Daisy's like yes I am I'm so cute and so the driver's like got a bag of treats with her and she's like handing Daisy treats and Daisy's just like I love you so much and I was like I'll let you guys have a moment <laughs> and I was like honestly as a delivery driver it makes a lot of sense to carry treats like dog treats very smart and then I noticed a couple of weeks ago she was doing the same thing but she was like super excited and I was like what like this is this is not the same as last time and it was a different driver who not only is he like feeding like the other driver was like feeding her treats through the door this guy's got the screen door open and he's like giving her rubs and scratching her ears and she's just like this little puddle of goo dog <laughs> and he's like i've got a pit bull as well and she's just the biggest baby i'm like yeah you can see what she's like so now she's got two drivers who bring her treats <laughs> and i'm convinced that they're bringing her treats even when we don't have packages Fuck this fucking dog, man. <laughs> hey, Cricket. <laughs> I was like... She she knows what's what, that girl. She's got, she's got it going on there. But this is, like... This is definitely a, a newer development. Oh, you do? Yay! I... I had... I was going to use the same one as last year, and then I was just like... Yeah, it needs a little bit, little extra, so I updated it. Yeah, I mean we're we're always gay in here, but there's like like an extra cherry on the top for this month. A little extra gay. Thank you. love a little extra gay right oh yeah <laughs> that was such a good one for it i forgot that i did that too i updated the stream decorations i don't know if there's a pusheen in this one but yeah i got all the pride decorations too i didn't like super gay the channel but we just a little a little extra you know <sighs> little rainbow sprinkles on things Very close to that tree. What is with this road? What do you mean? It's very wibbly. Sometimes roads be wibbly. I haven't updated. Oh, that's right. I remember last year. I'll have to work on it. Last year's confetti for Pride Month was really cute, but it was very, very greedy on resources. So I need to see if I can compress it. Okay, have a nice dinner. Bring me back something. Excuse you, passing me, how do you? I'm supposed to be doing a sim stream this evening after this, but I'm just not feeling it. Mm. I have to... Do tomorrow. I think I've decided that I'm going to make craft streams like a... opt-in. So I, I keep on wanting to stream on Sundays and not really feeling up to crafting. But wanting to just play games because you know my hands get sore or whatever so i think it'd be better if i just like decide that i'm it's going to be a stream that might be a craft stream rather than 
a craft stream that might be a game stream which makes absolutely no difference to anyone watching but will stop me from feeling guilty for not doing crafts on stream And I have to get some sparkly yarn. So what we're going to do with everyone who, if, the people who sub to me here and also on fourth wall, they're going to have like a special sparkle added to their, their scarf color chunk for the, the rainbow scarf. So they'll have little sparkly bits. Be pretty fancy. I just have to find it. Oh God. Oh, these... Europe's roads are so much more windy compared to America. Much more narrow, much more windy. Did the music stop? The music stopped. Why did the music stop? How long has it been stopped for? These are the questions that I mean, yeah. Apparently I forgot to preload the playlist. I don't know how long it's been quiet for. No one said anything. Been vibing and crocheting. I guess it's just been the the our dulcet tones on Discord and the rattle and hum of a truck. Lujnapoka, which is totally not how it's said. No, but I'm pretty sure I mauled the pronunciation because it's how I roll. <sighs> it's probably like cloosh. I don't know. There's no way to find out otherwise. Nope. Impossible. Oh, the road is so shiny. So pretty. I just realized my my truck has fire all over it and I'm delivering some sort of flammable gas. It's gotta be somewhat alarming to anyone following me. But yeah, needless to say, probably won't be available to do trucks when I'm Alright, so I'm not taking my wheel up with me. You're not gonna take your wheel. No. I mean, I'm sure Dean has like an Xbox controller, but I don't want to download like all of my Steam library onto his computer. What am I gonna do for a moment? Um what you've been doing the 
other days that you haven't played tricks with me? I've had things to do. I'm not going to have things to do then. How do you know? You might. I... But you just have to come up to Ohio and co-stream with me. You can just sit next to me. Okay. Does it say spork? It does. Forklift. Sporklift. You've heard of forklifts. Now there's sporklifts. like a forklift but for sand level 63 only another 37 levels to go oh god and then you'll be a divine champion i don't think i'm ever gonna right, get to 100 let's do it I'm never going to get to 100. Not with that attitude. Um. All right. I was like, how do I get out of here? Thank you. Get to funny number 69 and retire a victor. Here we go. That seems much more feasible. What if there's like a hidden thing? Well, it doesn't say, but if you get to level 69, your title is just nice. Google. Yeah. Maybe it, the game prevents you from taking screenshots, so you will never know. Maybe. It's at 69. Yeah. Possibly. There's a, there is a lot in this. Nope. Oh! <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to go back to the. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, maybe. Oh god, that truck just backed into the car. You you just did a little somersault there. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what damage that did to your truck. A lot. A lot, yeah. I'll be right with you. Okay, I will go ahead to where I can pull over. Good job. It was it was almost like a little dance. The way that you just sort of rocketed into the air and did a little pirouette. Oh, not that, but... You should totally try that again.
But that got me further away. What? Where the heck are you? Um, I don't know. Here, which is where it looks like you are, but somehow I'm further away from the job. Than I Pollution of Pokemon? I have no idea. <laughs> but I was just following you. Always a good idea. What did I tell you? Don't follow me today. <laughs> but now you're at a gas station. Well, it says our job is two hours away. That's not Don't you get out of the way. Apparently, <laughs> there's no way to get any closer to where you are, so. No. I just have to try. It's a big long way. One way. do a city build. I love city builder games but I feel like they are not good ones for me to stream because I get too focused. I gotta go around this windy road again. Son of a... Yep. In the rain at night? Yep. What could go wrong? Probably. What are we doing? From here to there, it expires in 16 hours, so we're good. Okay. where I came from. Okay. Well then don't go that way. Go an hour and ten minutes from where I am right now. Is that helpful? Yes. Okay. Good. Uh-oh. 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 
that was going to be a start all over again. Yeah. Oh, we're on ad. It's perfect. Perfect timing. Ad break. Yay. Alright, I stood up and had a good stretch. Are you here yet? So that I really know where here is. Hey, I see you. Welcome back, Prickly. Ones too. No, mine's better. But yeah, no, they probably are the same. with french fries again that sounds really good honestly okay did it 
Oh look, they add like a little, on your map, they add like a flag of the country that you're in. Wait, they do? Oh, they do there, but not on the overlay. Dear SCS, why do you suck so bad? <laughs> so bad. Man, now I keep thinking about that California burrito I had. That is quite the trip. I would never have thought about fries in a burrito, but it was quite tasty. Mm. Mm. We're... Oh, what's it back there for? Fuck's sake. the fucking alleyway. Yeah, there's some, I don't know, something about burritos, uh, fries and burritos. I feel like it's going to be one of those things where it's like pineapple on pizza where people are like, you're not supposed to put fries and burritos, but you know what? I love fried potato and I love burritos. Why not combine them? I mean, it's no different than putting potatoes in a breakfast burrito, right? Yeah, exactly. How do we get out? Get out. Yeah, the one I had last time, it was like, it was really fucking good, but I mean, it's sensible for restaurants because, you know, potatoes are a lot cheaper than other fillers. Um, but it was like marinated chicken and fries. And I don't know what other shit. It was just really delicious. Some sort of like garlic aioli type thing. I mean, I guess it's only very loosely a burrito and that it was like, food wrapped in a flour tortilla. I think burritos are really good too. You reckon? Yeah. Wrap it in a tortilla, boom. Burrito. I mean, not, yeah. I mean, pizza, pineapple works on pizzas, you know some toppings but others it makes sense everything is better as a burrito i mean it's so much more convenient it's like pies everything's better in pie form except burritos except for i don't know i need a burrito pie i've made burrito casseroles which is basically just like a mexican lasagna at that point Oh no, I think I'm hungry. <laughs> Shit. There's ghost trucks on the motorway. Ghost trucks? Yeah, I just saw three different trucks like flicker in front of me and then vanish. Well, we are in Romania. Uh, is Romania known for ghost trucks? Yeah. Oh, okay. 
I, I wasn't aware of this regional peculiarity. Isn't Romania home to like Dracula or something like that? Um. It's kind of like a ghost type figure. I mean, not not really. Yeah, kind of. Like I said, kind of. Yeah, I mean, he was. It wasn't he like a an Ottoman king or something? <laughs> ghost. Dracul. Sure. Vampires are basically ghosts. Okay. Creature of the night. Now I'm gonna have the rhythm of the night song stuck in my head. Thank you. Anytime. Also, I want burritos. Who doesn't? He's just a nice guy. I like to chop off people's heads, right? It's just a French cure for a headache, right? Hi. I see. Look, my problem is these. Ow! These pedals are so much more comfortable when I have my foot down all the way than just a little. That's that's why I speed. It's just for comfort. That's all. Seems like such a nice place. Look at the moon! Well, I don't see any bats flying across the front of the moon, so I don't think your story is is accurate. My story is as accurate as I am. Uh-huh. I that's that's not how it works. I don't know. It seems to be how it works. See, look, yeah. See, so you see, officer. It's just more comfy that way. Have you tried it? so I'm using my heel rather than the front of my foot on the pedal. See how that goes. I think that's a reasonable explore. E ex explanation. I can work. Struggle driving up with these with shoes on. I don't know why it makes a difference. Well, that seems like an easily fixable problem. No shoes. Yeah, there you go. I mean, I don't. I'm solved. I very rarely wear shoes anyway. But like during winter, it's still more comfy to wear. To wear to have bare feet for driving than your shoes or socks. Don't like socks or shoes.
You're a catch up. It really is more comfortable just to put my foot all the way down. Thank you, Brickley. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious, delicious white mustard. You watch, I'm gonna get a red drink bottle next just to fuck with you. I'm gonna put a big picture of a tomato on the side of it. Void mustard. I know, we're super fancy. refreshing that my truck and this gives me like the range what what is this yes come on out This is weird. Take those angles.
Here we go. That this road is something else. This whole like loop to loop bullshit. You didn't want to go to Spain. I mean, we're not going to Spain. Not yet. <sighs> what, the? what did you do this time? The guy crossed the line. Uh huh. Almost hit me. So where is this place then? Where is what place? The, the place with the name. Place with the name. Oh, you said it was near Istanbul? Constantinople. We're working our way there. That's the whole goal today. Oh, okay. To get jobs that can get us to Constantinople. I mean, we could have just teleported there. No, that's not how this works. You clearly don't understand how to play. I'm such a noob. Istanbul, Constantinople. You can't have my levels. Get your own level. Because it's the first of June, all the uh, media in Florida are now flooded with it's hurricane season. Oh my god, we're all gonna die. Well, I mean, they're not wrong. Everyone is gonna die. Now. Yeah. There's a whole lot of like media panic for every fucking season. It's exhausting. It's like, look. If it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. There's not much you can do about it. But yeah. And it's like, it's gonna be like September, like September 10th is like the peak of the season, blah, blah, blah. It's like, can we just, you know, get through this week? <laughs> there's a name there's always a name stolen in june i'm like okay but that doesn't change the fact that it, it literally doesn't change anything it's a very big cash grab They have these big, like, tax holiday things for building your emergency kit, and it's like, oh, that's useful, but then you realize it's literally just a reason to drive people to the store. doing uh driving to wherever we're driving to i just fucking zoned out completely yeah you did yeah <laughs> that's fine 
I have the the mental acuity of a sea sponge today. of a ham sandwich. Hmm. That also sounds kind of good right now. A sandwich. It can be good as like a tomato sandwich. Nice fresh tomatoes. I just like fresh tomatoes. Lettuce is just annoying. It's just like annoying green stuff. Floppy stuff. I feel like you need some better lettuce. Just, I'm not excited about lettuce. Like, I'll have it in salads just fine, but I just. I want to cover it in dressing, which kind of defeats the purpose of having a salad, you know. I don't like the taste, it's bitter. Doesn't matter what type of lettuce I've tried, they all kind of have the same sort of bitter, bitterness to it, like celery. Except for like spinach greens, but then that's not, that's not lettuce, so. Honestly, I'd rather just have a massive, uh, massive tomato and just eat that. All right, you heard her. Everybody send Dell a massive tomato. Oh. Can be mailed oh. to Dell. Oh. Uh, Valeria, uh, whatever, whatever city you live in, Florida, and they'll, they'll figure it out. Yeah. Everyone there knows who Dell is. Yeah, it's true. I can barely go to the store these days without people screaming my name. Or at least, hey you, followed by, why are you in the way? Get out of the way. What's wrong with you? Close enough. Are you asking if they're on the short list or the long list? <laughs> yeah. How much time you got? <laughs> well, then don't ask questions you don't want the answers to. Exactly. Fit to sneak through. 
What does that stop do? I mean, I'm all for trying to smash through, but sometimes square peg round hole really doesn't work. There's also recruitment billboards for actual truck companies. In case you want to be a real truck driver. Nah, that sounds like too much work. I mean, yeah. <laughs> well, it, it would be, yeah. You know. Lynn's got a CDL. I'm always curious. It's like, dude, if you've a got the license. A or B? Or C? What? What class? I'm not sure. Can you drive an actual truck or just a bus? Yeah. Yeah, no, you can drive a truck. Okay, so there's a class A. Yeah, he, he went to training school for it and everything. Of course, he can't drive one out of state without going through a bunch of bullshit medical stuff. <clears throat> but, um, well, I guess it's not bullshit because it's useful to make sure, you know, truck drivers don't have heart attacks while driving and stuff. Apparently, it's been like that for a while, but no one tells you. So, you basically, every time you get, have to get recertified and go in for another medical exam. And then last time, the, the doctor was like, if you're not actively using your license or planning on driving a, a, a truck out of state, there's there's no point getting doing the physical because it's not needed. And he's like, oh, okay. That'll save us a couple of hundred dollars. I always kind of like the idea of though, of like jumping into a truck and just going on a, a big adventure, but I know in reality it's boring as fog. But better with company. Well, why don't you just head on down to the local truck stop and <laughs> there you go. That's how you can get up to Ohio. It's high. Local truck stop. And just yeah. Go, okay. I'm trying to get up to Ohio. How close can you get? Honestly, I'd feel fine doing that. I'd feel much safer doing that at a truck stop than I would, like, hitchhiking on the street. Yeah, like... There was, um, there was a... a regular in here for a while whose partner did long haul for Walmart. I think it was like up and down the East Coast. And she'd just like, you know, grab a few books on a knitting project and just join him every now and then. And it was just like, you know, a little adventure. long hours though and it is hard work like physical work too especially if you're unloading stuff it takes a toll it depends who you're driving for hmm Hey, it's you. It's me. I enjoy road trips, but I don't drive. Yeah. 
I'm pretty sure at this point I wouldn't even drive. It's okay. At least I get some access to some pretty hot flow therapy. Is a place coming up on the right with a picture screenshot thing. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. No, fair enough. Oh, it's quite pretty here, though. C one hundred and ninety K ish. Are you trying to backseat me? Yep. In your own truck. Like you're uh, speeding too. Crossing the lines. See if I can scale the UI down. Bust off. I may have shaved that sign. It was awfully close. been doing that for a while now too i think that was the thing that um that regular said is the worst one is when you go to do a delivery you know like you're due to do a delivery at walmart at five o'clock in the morning whatever and the person's not there to offload the truck because it throws you off for the complete day I think it'd be a great way to see the country there. Well, Toph went to go get himself a trucking job and you guys could travel the country. Yeah, that's what's happening. You can go see all your friends all over the country. Go oh. see Echo up in wherever Echo is and Washington other people in other places everyone's up like ugh, so many people just up north I yeah no that's not gonna as much as I think that would be fun that ain't happening Good. no <laughs> but imagine I... how much fun it would be it would be a lot of fun but you're overestimating the amount of effort someone is putting into finding a job. Are you stopped at a stop sign? What the fuck? I am stopped at a 
behind a truck that is stopped at a stop sign. Alright, well, now I know I can cut that corner. Oh, jeez. I feel like that is significant for something. So what's significant? The town of Bran. Just where we are. Like I'm... Bran? No. <laughs> Maybe. I could do with a bowl of raisin Bran. See, where's Punky? Yeah. Punky, Punky would tell us. We need to blow this down. been like super busy stuff lately raisin right just like man a bullet i've got actually we there was a, a sale on cereal at the store so we got i got raisin bran and i got special k red berries oh, that's good shit right there. it is it's like my favorite cereal breakfast lunch and dinner we only get it if it's like buy one get one though because it's so fucking expensive otherwise and then i like adding more to it too like i like adding raisins to it or fresh strawberries as well you know you could just buy the cheaper special k and just add fresh strawberries well, yeah, but fresh strawberries are usually really expensive too. It's just that they happen to also be on sale this week. Mm. But yeah, that red, there's like, I know there's other flavors, but none of them. None of them hit the way that red berries does, you know? Oh, I know. But the yogurt, there's like a yogurt one, and I was like, it's, I mean, it's fine, but yeah. Every time Flint's like, what one do you want? I'm like, what do you think? <laughs> what do I look like here? Of course I want the strawberry one. It's really, it is quite sweet though. Oh, nice. A lot about that. I wonder if Ali, oh, probably not. I wonder if Ali gets a discount with. They don't get discounts at all, I don't think. God, this road! Yeah, probably. There was a... I used to work at a roast meal place in a food court. 
And honestly, it was so fucking good. I very rarely bought meals because once everywhere's closed, if you work clo night shift, it's like a buffet. <laughs> oh, and oh, okay. Nice. nice. <laughs> I was like, am I gonna roll down the hill? Inside of sixty percent damage. Uh, it's a good yeah. chance. It'll buff out. I would claim credit for that, but no, I had nothing to do with that. That was just uh, inertia and and gravity doing its thing. Actually, it's because everyone just then watching all lean to the left, try and like balance the truck out. So thanks, chat. But yeah, working in a food court and clothes was great because you could just go through and like have your pack of what was left at the end of the day. And so you'd get like people would come through and be like, can you put some of that, that aside? You know, you can put some of that aside and it'd be like a little feast. The place I worked, I mean, I, it was like roast. We did like roast beef, lamb, pork, and sometimes chicken. And then like all the roast veggies, like roast potatoes and roast pumpkin, and then there'd be other things too, and salad. So you could either go and get like a full on roast meal, or you could get like roast meat subs, I guess. Like a, that was, Really yummy. And then there was like a a fish place next to us, like a Long John Silver's kind of thing. And then it was a Chinese place, and it was something else. Just sit in the food court after shift and stuff our faces. Except for McDonald's, the people at McDonald's never joined in because they weren't allowed. You know, there were no leftovers really. Which is probably fine because leftover McDonald's is there's nothing about leftover McDonald's that's delicious. I, yeah, there's nothing really good about McDonald's. I mean, they're like first time in a while, I think, which was disappointing. Mm. Their fries used to be really good. Now there's like wet, wet noodles. I think like with fries, it's like a matter of luck as to when you go in and like what the local place is like. Oh, that's good, correctly. I know that there's like some, some places have really strict rules about what can be donated in terms of like food safety stuff. Like they have really restrictive food safety rules, which prevent a lot of places from donating food. Just stupid. So like, we can't donate the food, but if someone takes it from the dumpster, that's totally fine. Like, people? Okay. There used to be this like discount bakery that we would go to and I think it was like over it was initially supposed to be like overstock so basically you know like stores who had once the breads have been in the store for a couple of days you know they pull it out to cycle through so it's always fresh so it was a good place to go because the bread would still be good it was just that it was a few days old um but then like a few months ago we went in and everything was really fucking expensive and then we realized that it's all like brand new like they're not getting not selling clear and stuff but they're still labeled as like a discount bakery right so people go in thinking they're gonna get cheap bread and it's still like three dollars a loaf 
Yeah, like day out, nothing wrong with day old bread. And they always had like discount cakes, like the little like Intamin cakes and stuff. I don't know if the stores are just like selling, keeping them on the shelf longer or what, but this discount place never has any good deals anymore. Makes me sad. and stopped running to be honest it's not turned off yet it's pretty impressive 47 percent damage oh there we go i jinxed it yeah it's you said something do the same go and get like big bags and I'm gonna get home and get like a little bag of treats as well as you know good bread Did someone post something lewd? Oh no, that's just me. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Carry on. Yeah, you get free shipping on my merch store if you get a get membership. It's a, such a big difference. It's like I get ninety percent of <clears throat> of the uh, of a five dollars up there as opposed to like forty five from here. Yeah, that's a huge difference. And we've already had two people sign up for an annually, which is nice. Though I, I did think that the annual would just like dole it out but no it just gives it to me a one lump sum but that's still pretty cool because it means i have to keep on streaming for a year that's how i guarantee that you stream for at least one more year so yeah someone someone has to stream for or sub every month for a year and then mm -hmm. yeah how it works you get a mobile app you basically get a pocket dowel which is pretty cool you get a pocket dowel so the with the memberships like if you go to the membership section of of the site on mobile it prompts you to install an app and it's basically like a, a chrome i don't know i don't know what it's called like a wrapper basically it just sort of turns turns the website into an app yeah so it turns it into its own little standalone app um and it has like direct messaging and stuff in there so it's kind of cute i can directly message Dell. i mean you you can multiple ways already but yeah i can 
directly message Dell in another way? Yeah. Another way. It's like there's some days like where I'm like messing around. I think there's like with with Ali especially. There's like so many different ways that we can contact each other. It's just gets silly. Like, see, here's the deal. My truck's already fucked. I don't care if I crash into anyone else now. People better not get in my way. That includes Border Patrol. in front of me. me cutting the line it's totally fine uh six are. or seven <laughs> 39 ton i've lost a ton you've lost a ton Probably i didn't even poop this is all the pieces of your truck that you left behind. Maybe. I would have thought I'd at least picked up some paint from someone. I guess maybe I poured some cargo over the side. Ad break time. It is ad break time. That's a good point. I think I'm gonna... I'm missing bump. Yeah. Wait, no, I don't think a bumper weighs a ton. Seems a little excessive. Why? What? No? I don't think so. No! <gasps> Prickly, what is this? I'm stopping on the bridge to take a break. It's totally fine. All right, taking an air break right now. I'll be back in a couple of minutes. Josh, stand up straight to get a drink. I'll see you soon.
plant speeder. Um, so what electric truck is that? I have all the DLC and stuff, I just... Maybe I missed something about an electric truck. I like this bridge, it's very pretty. Ooh, the train. Wait, wait, where am I going? Through here? X-ray inspection. Hooray, so you don't have any... I don't know what they were looking for, but... X-rays. That's why it's an X-ray inspection. Oh, well maybe I do have X-rays. Maybe that's why I passed. Hmm, that could be too. stopped here why do I have to stop there as well can you not just do everything at once Taking so long. Why do they make us wait? They gotta inspect your papers. I still think it'd be fun to do a crime scene type game on stream. The seems totally oh god, valid. <laughs> That's one way to do it. It is the way to do it.
I love the sound. Again, did not land. Well, get good, Sprout. Neither did you, suck it. <laughs> Apes using hacks. Is it what it is? Yeah. I don't know how to play when it's like partial screen, so. Yeah, it's like you're like nerfed or something. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh my god, you're running out of fuel. Dude, I still have 400 kilometers left in the tank. Whatever. Whatever. So maybe, maybe that's why my truck is, is lighter. I've, I've lost a ton of fuel. Could be. Could be. Could be all the cargo that fell out when you got in your last accident. What is our cargo? Stop. Stop. Hmm. Yeah, that's probably it. Stuff? And maybe some things. Things. A little more stuff than things, but a few things. <laughs> what did you do? Nothing. see anything in your way. Nothing. Oh, you went got you. Well, I mean, it was right there. Yeah, it's totally fine. I just... Not so much side-swiped as face-planted into the, the fuel pump, but it's very robust. They make them strong here. That's probably a good one. On track, you can do the last twenty something K. curious what it is that's causing my frame rate to tank but only in frogs. I don't know my uh I've had a lot of pickups today. And this is one I've had for a while and my frame rate just drops to like 10 to 15 occasionally. But it's only in trucks, so.
Boom. Done. Level 57. I'm a legend. Catching up. Kid bouncing a ball. Jesus Christ. That's a lot. <laughs> That's a lot. Ah, uh, dang. Roof tiles, this would take us into Turkey, but made our job. Yeah, I don't think I've got any more of me on that one. Guess we'll have to wait for next time. I'm sorry. <laughs> That is factory. <laughs> My truck's like, I'm done. <laughs> Just stalled. Oh, you're already out of the convoy. I see how it is. Boom. Done. Out. You're not even going to name your save? I don't name them. I just cycle through three different saves. What would I name it? The date? Oh, well, I don't need to. The date's in the save file. What a monster. You're welcome. Thanks. I, I don't. Uh, uh, maybe? Probably. Well, we didn't. Uh, we didn't quite make it. Uh, you chick uh, Maybe next time. Maybe next time. Yeah. Can you imagine being like completely wasted and being asked to like... How do I get there? Like, can you take me to that place? And the driver's like, oh, you mean this one? And you're like, no, 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 the other one. Okay, so... Yeah. Or you could, you know, the other thing is you could say it wrong and then you're just like, oh yes, I know where that is. And then you end up like 100 miles away from where you want to be. <laughs> Which is, I think, something that could happen. Yeah. Oh, see, mm -hmm. now Punky appears in mod chat. I see how it is. Jesus Christ. We all just fell into my lap. It's totally fine. Alright, well it's been fun. It's been it uh, it's been real. Yeah, it's been real fun. And uh see you next time. Yeah you will. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah. Always, always enjoy it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's. Um, I'm usually an enjoyable person, but. Uh, yeah. Uh huh.
Uh huh. Let me check next week. Let's see next week. Uh, yep, pretty open. All right. All right. Well, uh, have fun. Enjoy. I don't know what you're gonna play next. Probably. Uh, probably. You know what? I would suggest some sort of like. Oh, I'm just uh, spitting off the cuff here. Some sort of like block-based building survival type game. Oh yeah, you reckon? All right, like that. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if you've ever played something like that, but probably not such a. I'll consider it. I think you'd like something like that. So if you find something, I'll think about it. Yeah. Here yeah. you go. Okay. Bye. Bye. -bye. Looking forward to moving my legs. <laughs> oh yeah, that's it, right there. Ah, oh. been able to tuck a leg up under me. Oh, feels so good. There. There. Well, I mean, I guess we could play a block game. Like, I guess. I think I've got this one installed that might be okay. Or something. I'm dancing to the music. Oh, crunches. <gasps> so we started getting some internal structure in the place. Sorry. like building games where, where we can build mm -hmm. you're a very good building advisor in Valheim I don't look to see if anyone's been on since I logged out last night. Well, well, that's a good start. Servers, man. Oh, 
but totally fine until you try to stream it. Unbelievable. the music all way down game up all right so this is my tree hasn't grown. Disappointed. Oh, this, so this is what we've got. So... Entryway. This is going to be storage. Kitchen. Pantry. Maybe. I really want to figure out how to make tiles because if I I think if I can get tiles, it's like a malachite color tile, which almost looks like the water there. Like the same color as the water. I think they would be really pretty in here. And then bedroom up here but i'm not sure about this this it's like a feature wall i kind of like it but i'm not sure could extend the floor like out one more oh <gasps> you are that's amazing prickly that's impressive So I, like, I could extend that out further. I think that's more balanced, actually. Just something really light hidden. So I don't know. Also, apparently things fall down from up above into my garden. So like we had a, a delivery of, of Sky Goat last night. And it was very mad that it fell. Yeah, cave house. A goat fell through the hole. Uh, but because it landed in here, it couldn't aggro on me. Uh, so I was able to harvest it. When it, I just like threw a rock at it and it died. And then I was like, hmm, fresh meat. But yeah, so we got a cave house.
and I'm gonna move the garden back under the uh, the overhang there, and then flesh out more of this area as greenery, like more more trees. And some vines and shrubs and stuff. Realize how big this was, though. But yeah, I want to bring the garden back along this wall here. I'm enjoying, I'm like, I'm really liking how much what I've got of it. I just the only thing I'm not sure of is this right here. I'd like the show. Like the floating shelf, I but I'm not sure how it fits with everything else. Yeah, I think this is going to end up being storage. decided what I'm gonna do with our bugger maybe I should sort out storage this evening
Oops. This is to catch Ferdinand in. I probably need to make another one so I can get Ferdinand's mum too. Oh, wait, do I have... I guess first things first. Why can't we have a closet? For storing clothes. Welcome back. A cupboard. I want a cupboard. or a closet. It's a lot to ask for. Just visually. A closet. I have to put in a request to Ape. Can make like like a, a large chest but like just rotate at 90 degrees. All right, I need to chop down some birch trees. sure what I wanted to build um, and then I kind of had like a random brain kick in thing what we're after. the only one here. I'm gonna skip my time. Cause I can do that.
Here, deal it. So, first goal, birch trees. These are all look like maple. a birch so that we can make planks so we can make storage and shelves and bottle racks I don't understand why there's all these like single stumps of trees around because I don't even leave them like that Maple, maple, walnut. Big mother walnut. Okay, right, what does walnut wood look like? Just out of curiosity, do we do we like walnut? Because if I like walnut, it's kind of a easy one to check. Is that walnut? That's oak too. See, like, why, I'm not... Why are these like that? Oh. It's super pretty here. Yeah, they are. I don't I don't normally go for areas with like rock formations but I figured this was different like trying to do something different chop down a walnut tree unless I know I'm gonna like it those are all like those big mama trees they're real pretty but I don't like the way it looks and then it's just a waste of material I mean, it won't be a waste because I'll burn it. But that's so pretty. It is a bit, yeah. Oh, so these trees are gorgeous. I wonder if I can just like, yeah. Yeah, here we go. Just take a little a little log of a walnut home. I 
and see if I like it. Swimming cows? Yeah. It's normal, right? Oh, cows. Swim. Very clever cows. I don't know. I feel like the wood color is just not going to vibe with me, you know? No, I see, I like birch because it's warmer. This is too cool a color. It's, it's brighter and warmer. Mm. So the birch that I've been using here, here, it's just, I like it. worth checking all right so we still need to find some birch trees to chop i've got these ones here so maybe some birch seeds I was almost tempted there was a, a bald cypress which is like a another pale wood but I think it would be too too pale
again. Oh hey, apparently I planted some birches here. I can't imagine someone I knew wanted it wanted some oak me to send them some oak seeds and I was like nope <laughs> the cost uh, to do that online was just silly Isn't that the way? I think that's better. Just weren't going to those particular stores.
always the bloody way, isn't it? Why? Why are you like this? Why? Oh my god. What are you attached to? Here. It is head break time. I'm gonna stand up and get a piece of bread and butter because I am hungry and feeling a bit light needed. And then we will carry on with the building. I will be right back. Apparently, it would help if I was in the right scene on my stream deck. Okay.
Hmm. Such thirsty. All right, where are these? I don't care about these. Right. Got a pine tree here, so let's get some taps in it for some reason. See how that goes. We need to put some food away too. I'm really spots great. Like I'm, I'm really getting used to it, but. It's already warm and I wanted to I don't know I think I needed to be like a little more north of where I am like maybe between three and four thousand north those last two glass blocks for bottle. I need chisel. Somewhere. I'm still gonna chisel blocks from inside because I wanna clear it anyway. Did not get hammer.
Oh, that wasn't planned. That's okay. gaps here. useful little cubby as well or I don't know not sure spaces to put stuff Storage. That's better. Low ceilings make me feel so claustrophobic. I don't know what I'm using this space for. Interesting. Should 
actually gone all the way up. See that? If those went like right on the edge, that would be nice. We are. Yes. It's just an invisible truck. Uh, yeah, I do. Um, it won't. Oh, that's bollocks. Yeah, I use um, a Logitech G920.
Yeah, no, I, it's, I mean, it was definitely uh, an investment. I enjoy it, um, but yeah, it was, it was expensive. This is not the time to be guessing about chiseling shit. And yet... Wrong button. That's what I wanted. Uh, I don't know. I don't know about that. Yeah, I don't know about that yet. We'll see. Oh, look, it's not that bad. Oh, I guess I'm hungry. Yeah, we got a bunch more... more emotes this month. Thanks, Ravi. Three and a half days. Definitely need some tables up here.
I'm sure I'm gonna put it in the corner. No one that's gonna go downstairs. Yeah, now I've got that connected, I'm a lot happier. Shame you can't put the scrolls on the bookshelves. You need to make the uh, stand. It's almost tempting to knock out those ones. Like another level of ceiling here. Take that up higher. Just for the benefit of some symmetry. I think it's fine. That's loosely planning out kitchen type stuff. Delirey, one be boogie delirey, one dink donkey delirey, one be boogie delirey, one heart. Was a whole lot of text to speech in. Ding donkey heart. Hi, Ollie. All the ding donkeys. Yeah. The Larry one, ding donkey heart. Hi, Baird. Sally, thank you for everything. <laughs> So long, 63 months. <laughs> ah, shops. Says, uh. Oh, 
Apparently it would help if there was fuel. One thousand eighty-four. It's fine. I know exactly what I'm doing. So we we've got this is all just a temporary mess out here, but we've started turning this this space into a functional space and I've managed so far I've managed to make it match my drawing without too much effort and then we've got like inside that'll be storage area this will be kitchen with pantry and then bedroom slash place of knickknacks I guess and view of gardens out the the kitchen window I'm gonna try and see if I can figure out how to make tiles because there's a color tile that matches the water there almost it's like a malachite color and i think i want to bring it in here yeah i'll probably set up a fridge the syrup I, it, I haven't i haven't got to that bit yet i don't even have any syrup you don't have the vomitarium yet Or, I don't have a dungeon either. I know, like, what even have I been doing? energy today we're making some ingots for nails So I can make some more storage. You want those to dink donkey dance? How would that happen? What is a dink donkey dance? Oh, you want them to have the bell? Mm 
Does this ring a bell? Prob probably. Figure something out. What did we land on? Oh yeah, I have it turned down really low so I can't really hear it. Wait, why is there a task hang? If I can go out that way and Hey. 
magical flying crate. Travel. Okay. Why did oh nails? I was like, why do I want that? I think will make a difference and then I think what I'm gonna do is move like all the smithy stuff like back into this area around here thing about building in here I don't have to worry about burning everything down to the ground well not all of it I'm paying enough attention then. this really cool logo for some merch for Flint for his coffee mugs. I don't think he was really interested. But I thought it was good. with his beans that he, his gross beans that he does that's why I was late for stream today because I was messing around making that He's like, oh, it looks like a whiskey label. I'm like, okay. You took a nap with stream on? Did you have weird crashy dreams?
probably. Yeah, I had a lot of fun making it, but I, I don't know if he's... Like, I was trying to keep something, keep it simple. Something that would look good on a coffee cup. Oh, thank you. Oh, you were playing before you were napping? Ooh, I was wondering if anyone was on. Oh, right. That makes sense. There are many things to play. Well, see, the way I figure it, things like Coral Islands are just going to improve. Tostitos, enchilada cheese dip. Ooh. Interesting. Oh, the, the uh, I I tried it the other day and I was not a fan. Like satellite in the black sky. I dream about things beyond the Flynn had some coupon for or something for Taco Bell's the giant cheese thing that they have. I don't even know. The thing is ridiculous. I didn't know how to brain it. I didn't know how to eat it. Tina or something, which isn't bad. Yeah. It's got like a, a pretty nice flavor on it, but yeah, it's it's spincy. I dream about things way beyond this atmosphere. 
And honestly, Taco Bell, by the time, you know, like, it, half an hour after eating it, you're hungry again. It's a drifter. I made a little drifter. Or I tried to make a little drifter. A drifter dance, modeled after the, uh, the dino dance? I went through a stage where I was just like obsessed with it, like the potatoes with the case, the queso on them, but apparently I don't like them anymore. Lynn's mum loves the um, the Mexican pizzas. We really need to just make them at home though, because they, I mean they're good, but I think make it at home pretty easily. My favorite thing that they had last year. Um was yeah they had i don't know why closing doors um last year they had like a mango slushy mango smoothie like mango ice cream smoothie something or other that was really good I generally find though that almost all of the food there has the same flavor profile. The quesadillas, not quesadillas, the, the Mexican pizzas are pretty easy to, to do at home. Churro twists, yeah, they're good. I don't, I don't want to yuck on someone else's yum because you know, like, it is nice sometimes. I think I'm just going through a phase where I'm less interested. Yes. I 
It is. I mean, in terms of like cost of sales or sales of goods, it's fantastic. Like that's what you want to do when you run a restaurant is to try and have as many possible permutations as you can out of as few ingredients as, as you can. Oh, that's conglomerate. This this fucker keeps on weirding me out. Oh, yeah, you're right. Head break. Oh. All right, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go take a break. I I liberated him.
That's that I want to make those two blocks windows as well. No. I still have to figure out how to get power going in here. But there is a water wheel in the medieval back here, but I've not even looked at how to get that going. gonna play Nightingale. Um all right, so these are all tools. That's the pantry there. Am I? How oh dear. It is. It makes me mad that it's so pretty. Like, it's a block game. How can a block game be so fucking pretty? How oh dear!
Look, don't you come in here with your logic. It's all zhuzhed up, right? Logic, schmogic. Witchcraft, clearly. There's no other explanation. Okay. Oak for those that smithing. Perfect. Alright, well that'll do to start off with as a storage phase. It's a lot better than it was.
still need reason and flax. It's, not, it's just really pretty, right? I think it's going to be even better once I get more trees and stuff, too. What the fuck is this song? Some, why do we not have an option? Like, just like a song, so it doesn't come up again. Well, it's not that I don't like it, is it? Just yeah, it, I don't. Know. So smithing area. So I don't... I think what I'm going to have to do is chisel these blocks because I think I prefer the wood texture up top just so it's not too samey. But having... because having a cobblestone floor right against the wall is just a bit much for me. I think we're gonna chisel to add the wood texture. This is this is a garden. And I think I'm actually gonna have coming down this way, leading to the garden. Yeah, it's going to be over there. I don't know if I'm going to use these furrowed blocks again because they're great for like I like the way they look but having to like 
they run out of they get gummed up and lose water and it's really frustrating I'm gonna break my rule of three for materials in this build though and add another color in yeah I mean the the stone path with the the water added is is like king to me for a block that waters without giving you a hole to fall in. <sighs> All right, I need a bio break. I don't know why I'm running in there. I'll be right back.
right. Sorry about that. So. I'm more interested in Cameron Chisel is already there. The music's... No, the music doesn't stop. It's just... Quiet. That's going to be a garden, so we can leave that as dirt. Here we go, that helps. Maybe I should do a little stone over there.
I mean, there's no quick way of doing this. Well, I mean, there might be actually. when I do that. use for all these slabs that I had that I sure to do with. I think I might do a half. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Oh. It's brighter. Well, I may as well gather all this stuff. stage so it's like 13 of 12 
Oh, shit. Until this is mature. So it's two gold for peanuts, but two hot for carrots. At once. Definitely going to have seasonal planting. I enjoyed making it. I think I've ever seen steel magnolias. shower thoughts Well, that went well. No, I don't think, I don't think so.
butchering mods interesting. Yeah, I saw someone mention that. Sound like Kathleen Turner. Yeah, it's lasted a while. There's a lot of this detail in here. Oh, we're so sorry, Pat.
Okay. Yeah, I don't have the brain to deal with it right now. Um, okay, so what about the water deal? Eight plates? <sighs> That's a lot. Oh my god, it takes a lot of play. What a real mechanical cow. I'm not doing water wheels for a while. You know what I don't have is... Not that. I need red fire clay. I don't have any oven. I don't really need an oven, though. Need to do a fireplace and to make a mold for a cauldron. So tomorrow is Sunday. Uh, I mentioned earlier, but what I've decided to do, um, and it, it's not really going to have any impact on any of you, but I've decided to make craft streams. I'm not changing my stream schedule. 
but I've decided to make Sunday streams being a craft stream is like an opt-in for me rather than an assumption because I'm getting more issues with my hand pain and combining that with like feeling obliged to do a craft stream on a Sunday has made it um, kind of difficult a bit um, especially when I'm already struggling with things so I'm essentially just giving myself permission to do whatever the fuck I want to stream what I want on a Sunday um, I'm not saying that there won't be craft streams because there will but I want to do it when I feel like it not when I feel like I ought to and then I'll enjoy it more so hopefully that works okay for people I know everyone enjoys the, the Sunday chaos, but honestly, I'd rather do the craft streams when I'm in the right brain space for it, and otherwise just be able to fuck around and play. I mean, I know you're all really supportive, so... Just gives me a little more wiggle room. But yeah, like I said, I won't it won't really affect things from from your end as a viewer, unless you're particularly attached to my craft streams. Alright, so I'm going to need more blue clay and more red clay. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, also... Absolutely still be chaotic. You don't have to worry about that. <laughs> Definitely still plenty of chaos. It's, it, it makes me a little bit sad though because like when I started off doing crafting streams um, it was like uh, way back when I first first started it was a lot oh no I know that Everyone's got, you know, like, real life obligations. Oh, okay, we have a good setting of 30 seconds.
Surely that's got to be a good soup, right? Six servings. I don't think I have much in the way of uh, one. I might preserve. I need to go get some peat too. Cooking, cooking, cooking. I figure I should probably get this done before I start going out exploring.
It's such a good sound. Yeah, no, that's fine. Carrot, cabbage. Yeah, like that. All right, I'll see you later. bowls I kind of really made just for uh... <sighs> lamps but until that flax grows yield of harvested crops by 10%. Thank you so long. I just want to have ginger candy. No, I don't want that now. I don't want to be chugging candy. So yeah, tomorrow, no idea what we're doing. Not the foggiest. I put in, I said that I was going to try and do The Sims tomorrow, but again, if I'm not feeling it, then we'll just do something else. Um, just play it right Ready here. Party. Hey! So much! Hey, what is this? Hello? So much extra? Hello! Uh, Soma's here, so be prepared for chaos. Uh, welcome in. I hope you had fun. Baldur's Gate 3? Stop it. You? Playing Baldur's Gate 3? 
Neva. Baby Bogwitch Pride! Meta Mistel, hello. It was a decent game. I mean, yeah, I've I've heard I've heard stuff about it. Right? It's so shocking. Um, but thank you so much. Thank you for the raid. And welcome in everyone who came over with the lovely uh so much extra. Hi, I am Deliria, my pronouns are she, her. Um, and uh, we're playing Vendor Story. <laughs> I'm Goose. <laughs> Hi, Goose. Uh, yeah, never. Speaking of Bobs, are we still are we still rolling with Bobra of the Karens? Barbara's evolved into a new role. Nice. A se oh shit, that's some serious business. Interesting. Um. But yeah, well, welcome in. Thank you for the raid. And happy prize. It was very tricky with limited price, a uh, limited emote slots to like pick my favorite pride flags or something. I don't know. It was weird. Um, but I, I think I think we uh, we we've got pretty good wide range of range wide range of bases covered. Let's... Oh, I had more carrots after all. Fresh for okay, that's fine. An origin character gale with a love interest? A starian, okay. Chaotic boyfriend gremlins, it sounds fantastic. really does sound good yeah so if if you enjoy Baldur's Gate but also sillies like just silly but gentle but silly chaotic messes do yourself a favor and go follow Soma they're really lovely and Definitely chaos gremlin energy. Yeah. Supreme Bog Witch of Sillies. Definitely, definitely my shoe. They they play other things too. So uh like No Man's Sky. Uh we got a bit of crossover there. I know there's some other games that we play, but I can't think of any. But there's definitely a lot of overlap with the games that Soma and I play. I can't... All right, let's go dig up some clay. Oh. Uh, yes, I was like, if you need to uh, skedaddle, please 
do what you gotta do. What is? <laughs> wow, that is an emote. Yeah, I had to like. It was tough trying to pick like which which, which pride badges I put in. Um. Oh, we're getting risen. I mean, I don't think it really mattered which ones I put in as like fun sub badges for for this month, but I think we I think we covered a wide range of bases. Yeah, and I made a couple of like a, a neat animated one that had a bunch in there too. I really wanted to have um, Yeah, I, I wanted NB and and Pan in there and Yeah. And Polly. I felt like that that covered a bunch of Bunch of folk, and I think I put ice in there as well. I remember. We we do have like I was like the the cross section that we have <laughs> in our community here. A lot of a lot of NBs. And then, like, going from, from Ace to Polly, I was like, that, I think that'll cover it. I wanted, I wanted to make everyone feel included. Myself included. And I was trying to figure out, it's like, how do you describe being like Ace Pan and it's like, you think everyone's pretty, but you don't want to bang anyone or you don't want to bang everyone. I'm like, I think that'll do. It's kind of where I'm at. It's not, you're all cuties, but that's enough. Yeah. No, but I only had so many emote slots. But I did get in... Uh, where'd it go? Yeah. Got that one! I got some more in there. That's got a whole different bunch of flavors in there. flavors. But yeah, I don't know, I, I felt like that range kind of properly represented quite a lot of... They're attracted to brains. <laughs> Toast, I like that. It's fun. Like ordinarily, I get irritated at having so many emote slots, but this month I was like, I need more. Hey, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. The library chat. Aw, that's lovely. Um, 
Flint came in with a a link for a pride bundle on Humble to share with me in chat. He's just like nudging like little like not a lot, but like an acknowledgments, I feel. Um of like little things of like letting letting me know that he's seeing that part of me and I really appreciate it. So he'll send me like cute memes. Um like LGBT memes or you know like that sort of stuff and I really appreciate it. My trees are floofing out. Of course, we always have the, um, always have trans pride, the love heart, because it's just how I feel. We need that one. I think I got the wrong color clay. Well, that's what we're going to do here. as well or is that still coming it's like i i knew like with dean and jc their time was already figured out but that that's like cementing it This shit's happening. I'm still a little nervous about you know being the focus on stuff but mostly i'm just excited for breathing space <laughs> like obviously hang out with friends but just like agency and in breathing space
Um, so if you're wondering what we're talking about, um, July, what, next month? It is next month now because it's June. Uh, next month I am going on a, a little road trip to see some friends. Hey, thank you for the follow. Um, we're going on a road trip. I'm going to go see Sadie and her wife and also friends Time Wanderer and uh, Jesse. Um, so from like basically mid-July to mid-August, I will still be streaming in the middle of it because I'm house sitting for two weeks. But yes, I will be scuttling about the Northeast. Well, actually not really scuttling about the Northeast, but uh, uh, hello. I saw that. Thank you. Um, yes, we'll be doing a trip, doing a trip up to Ohio. See friends. Okay. All right, now I need to get blue clay. The Northeast Midwest, it's very confusing. of hearing me talk about it but that's just tough because that's how I'm processing I think fear I think part of what is sort of exciting for me is that even though it's you know like the house sitting friends and hanging out with well no that's part of it is i'm doing i'm doing something for me and so i am still kind of fighting the the concern about being selfish but at the same token i know i'm still working and doing stuff I don't know, it's weird. I don't know what my brain is doing, but... Oh yeah, level three digging. Watch out, here I come. Here we go. 
So tomorrow might be crafting, might be Sims, might be this, might be something else. But you'll see. I have a few options depending on how much access I have to the spoon drawer. Apparently simming knitting. That sounds like a good mix. Even better. I keep feeling like going for a I've got for a can of beer, but I've just been feeling so tired that I know if I have beer right now, I'm just gonna like conk out. In beer induced sleep or alcohol induced sleep is not uh great so i've been saving it i guess for a special occasion Well, the problem with with booze sleep is that alcohol messes with your internal thermostat. So it that's probably why you wake up early. And I, I already have temperature regulation issues, but yeah, alcohol makes it a whole lot worse. I, um, so one of the things that I discovered with the, the pool last week before it died, I had three swimsuits and uh, none of them really fit anymore. So I'm going to have to see if I can find a... one that will do the trick. I mean that that sounds great but it's not gonna not gonna get me uh I, I still have oh um a while I plan on having the pool up in, in a few days. If I can.
But yeah, I... All of the ones that I have cannot contain all of me. They're all significantly too small. So I've just been... Which was, I mean, it's perfectly fine because it's just at home anyway. I've just been doing the old bra and undies. Yeah, I mean, I'll definitely, uh, I'll check you up on it. Oh. Thankfully, they look a lot easier or cheaper to get now than they used to be even plus size ones, so that's nice. So we got a bunch of clay. We have an oven now. Cauldron going. Allergies, ma'am. I think we might turn, do like a return haul down here to. I think once the cauldron's going, I think we're off to a good start, actually. I think I want to use granite blocks for the counter. I've got any, actually. Not wood. Excavate some. Um, so basically this material I want to use is the counter, not wood. And I still really want like a pretty blue floor. But I don't have the stuff for that yet. I don't like this. Hi, 
fuck, man? Feeling arrested? Oh god. Oh, why is it gonna be so dark? Oh. Alright, well then. So that's the wall. I will leave that there. This way. Is a hot or oh my god? There's a pot roast that Flint put on before we started stream, and I don't know when it's gonna be ready, but it smells it. piece and two two you know what i totally read that as pieces of chicken can you tell i'm feeling a little bit hungry I'm sorry your neighbors are being poopy heads. the point in making a birch table if it ends up a weird chicken color? Right. Right, so loose kitchen design here now.
I think this will do. I don't know what it is that I've got about these, like, traffic island things. This, this music is just, I don't even know. I don't even know. Four hours. Okay, so that's going to be done soon. Optimistic. Is it, I was gonna say, has it gone to minus one? Hey, Kara. And a cotto, ten a cotto, ten a cotto, cotto. My accent is really fucking bad. But hey, hey, Westy. Hey, I was talking about you the other day. I was talking to uh, uh, Ki uh, I have a Kiwi person who was uh, into this, but apparently they already follow you, so it was a waste of time. <laughs> but like, yeah, I know that person. I'm already following him. It was Kiwi, 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 Kiwi Rookie. Rookie? Rookie? Kiwi Rookie? rookie uh, something like that. Yeah. Something like that. My brain's not working. I was like, well, if you want to follow another Kiwi who plays Vinted Story, you should go check out Norwesty. And they're like, yeah, uh, I know them. <laughs> I know. We're... Hope you're doing all right. That is not what I wanted to make. They they did say that. Just a little bit of a flex going on there. kitchen set out but it needs it needs a lot of work it needs some work on the counters the floor needs to be replaced with
something. I know, I know what I want, but I may have to do something else until that I can get that. Yeah, this is on my single player, no, gentle, gentle server. My gentle fourth wall server. So no, no aggression, no temporal storms. No cavens. But things will still fuck you up if you try and punch them in the face. Which, you know, seems fair. Um. Yeah. So this is like a massive cavern that Ape and Toast found. And I wanted somewhere to, to move because it was too cold at spawn. And I've moved into a cave and built a little home kind of set into the cave wall. And I'm really liking how it's it's come out so far. I'm going to move the gardens so they run along the back of the cave there. We're going to obviously want more lighting. A whole lot more lighting. So it's in Homo sapiens mode. Um, without law content. But um, with better ruins, we still have uh It's not time yet. I don't know where my raft is. Which means it's probably like stuck on a tree somewhere. Um But yeah, with better ruins installed we still have some drifters and locusts and stuff, but they're only aggressive well actually I don't even think the drifters are aggressive. I think they'll literally just sit there and let you wail on them. And the same with the locusts, but I have no desire to uh, test that out. Yeah, I don't want spicy friends. Wait, who stole my raft? I mean, me. I, I stole my raft, but... Uh, It's in my fucking bag. It's right there. Like right there. <sighs> Gremlins, they, they snuck it back in when I wasn't watching. Thank you, Sadie. It needs... Oh, oh it is so. It needs a lot more work, but at least it's functional right now. But yeah, we need some, I need to go through and explore and get some like plants from different biomes to bring in here. Like I want some ferns here. <gasps> you were? Yay. That was your, the just uh, your basic BT, right? I did it, I made it a Pier one to the store, by the way. I <laughs> I think you and you and, and Drax have very similar uh <laughs> Thanks Magma. <laughs> I 
Um, you and Drix have similar feelings about ferns. Sadie, I kind of feel the same way. Like yesterday I won a giveaway for and for Merch and Molly's channel and now I'm like, did I stop entering? <coughs> yes, a hundred percent video game plant. Yeah. Well, that's and that's fine, but I also understand that you feel like you've uh, hit a limit there, and I respect that. But I'm comfortable if you want to keep doing it. But that's that's up to you. That's that's your decision. But yeah, I won like with 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 Molly giveaways. I won a cup and I won a a tank top, and I'm like, oh, well now I feel guilty. So I get it. I understand. And like, I also know that like the way that fourth wall does it, it's like, I, there's no way like streamers can't influence who wins. It just is. Yeah. Oh, I know you're not unhappy. I know that. I'm, I'm pretty happy that you won the the game, though, to be honest. What am I doing? Oh, ferns. Next I know you'll have your mum playing. Um, yeah, there's a, there's, yeah, there's a lot to it. It's, it's hard, it's hard to explain how this game plays because like, I hate when I sound patronizing when I'm like, it's like Minecraft, but there's more to it. Um, because I don't want to like shit on people for, for liking Minecraft because it's fun. Like, Minecraft is a really fun game. <clears throat> but I feel like that's, like, the only way that I can sort of, like, make it sort of relatable. How dare. I know. But to give, like, a, like a foundation, like, if you like this, then you might list. But yeah, it's, there's just a lot more stuff going on. Yeah, it's it's definitely not for everyone. And it always gives me like a little happy fizz when someone thank you. Um when someone picks it up and they really enjoy it. Like, hey, you there? Hey. Oh, I'm hungry. I cooked all that food and I didn't eat anything. I'm not too worried about taking a break this time. Oh, no. Hi, Yoko! Because, speak of, speak of people who have gotten to playing the game, I'm probably going to wrap up very shortly, so I'm not worried about taking my ad break. Yeah, 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 they said, they said they've been into it too. But 
Am I not turtly enough for the turtle club? That, well, hot pot is, is potentially why I may, well, not hot pot, but pot roast is potentially why I may be wrapping up soon because I said Flint put a roast on before stream. <gasps> yes, uh, was it a belt thing? Oh, there you go. Well, hopefully you caught it before it did any uh, extra damage. That'd be great. That's right. I remember you telling me about that. Good, good practice. Shut up, chicken. Still need to try and get a little mower blade for mine. And then everyone laughed. And then you were like, really? How much do they charge for training? Bet training sessions cost more than mechanics. Well, fingers crossed. Got all these. Oh, I am a lot further. further out than I thought I would be. 
Oh. Oh, they're doing all the way over here. All right, I'm gonna get myself back to my cave. Oh gosh, where is my cave? And then wrap it up. Okay, that's not so bad. Thought I got like way off track then. Well, that'll be nice. Like I said, I'm not sure what we're going to be doing tomorrow. Um, a few of you may have missed it earlier. I've decided what I'm going to do is craft streams are going to become like Sunday streams aren't changing. I'm going to keep streaming on Sundays, but I'm making it so that crafting is like an opt in for me. So I do a craft stream if I feel up to it mentally and physically because the last few months I feel like I'm doing them out of obligation so I love crafting and I love crochet but I felt like ob obliged to do them which hasn't been sitting well so I will keep streaming on Sundays but I'll do what I feel like on a Sunday so if I feel like crafting then we'll do crafting if I feel like playing games we'll do that if I feel like doing something else then I'll do that um and it won't have any impact really on what you guys get but it just giving myself the permission to to say it's like an opt-in just takes some pressure off me um so I think, I think that will help. Yeah, so it'll, you, you're not going to lose the Chaos Gremlin energy. So don't worry about that. I have to dig, I have to put these vines up before I, oh, oh. Hey, Artegas. Let me up these. Oh, that's not where I wanted it. Ah! Oh, come on. I'm still doing like this I still I'm still doing the sub scarf um, and that sort of stuff so that's not going away I don't know if these are gonna grow grow? I guess we'll find out. Oh look, ferns. We love ferns. They do not. Okay. Kind of disappointed but also kind of relieved. Listen. 
I have my my trails mod set so that when you you uh oh god that looks so much better fuck that looks so much better look at that yes um I have my trails mod set so that it runs out run when you run over ferns it gets rid of them all it took was some vines perfect I'm so happy with that right now so this is for reference this is the, the little doodle I did one morning of what I wanted to build so I, th I think we got pretty close All right. And and I still have some ferns to spare. I'll save them for Westy. All right. Um who are we who are we going to go visit? Ravi. Let's go visit Ravi. All right. You just All right. Just so we don't get any awkward thing. Not that we're a drags place. I should right in his front door. Um all right, I've just stopped raids, so I can't get raided into. I'm gonna send you over to see Ravi. Uh, I have no idea what she's up to. Demos, apparently. Games and demos. Farm together too, maybe? No idea. Um, so I'll be on tomorrow. I plan on being around on her and for, but I haven't been on time in like the last two weeks, so fucked if I know. I plan on being on around four. Whether or not it works, I don't know. I'm trying not to sweat it. Um. So yeah. Thank you for hanging out with me today. I know my energy has been all over the place. Um, but I have enjoyed it. Streaming, streaming does generally make me feel better when I've got you guys to keep me company. Okay. And uh. Hey, thanks, bye! Yes, happy pride. Do your thing, have fun. Uh, I don't know why I spray, I'm just spraying chat. And I will, oh, here's the raid messages. Cause I'm, I'm so good at this. Here, you can copy paste those. Uh, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Isn't that rainbow amazing?